Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're looking at a Lucario Macargo Garboder deck, um, which I built here on PCGO, and I want to test it out here for a video for you guys, so uh, we'll take a look at the deck real quick. You know, we're chilling. Lost Thunder is coming out very shortly. I've already made sure I pre-ordered. Well, currently I I got 80 codes pre-ordered coming in, and then I also got some other codes in my account, so it looks pretty good for Lost Thunder, though. Probably, probably recommended to get, like, at least 100 plus code for this set because there's so many cards it's insane so we're gonna be playing this lucario macargo garboder deck we all knew lucario has seen play in the past its main partners have always been zork gx and also lycanroc gx but i have been testing out lucario macargo in the past i mean macargo i predicted that this like at the beginning of the beginning of the format i said this macargo engine is gonna be the new draw engine right now it's gonna be a very good engine and look at it it's already become the new like, go twenty. i don't know i'm just I'm no Um, but Macargo, just really good, um, but what do you partner with Lucario? Is Lycanroc the best partner? It's okay for this type of a deck. I can see it being good in this, but I was like, why not just play Rainbow Energy with Garboder? The idea of playing Lucario Garboder is, you know, it's been something people have considered in the past, um, so it, it's out there. So, obviously, Lucario Garboder, we have Trash Lanch, which does 20 damage, um, uh, for each you know, item in your opponent's discard, so it makes for a great backup attacker. Garboder is also really good at dealing with stuff in the late game. You know, decks that play a lot of items get punished. You can also use it to counter Buzzles, which is really important, and also, you know, other psychic attackers, like something in Malamar. But Lucario is kind of our main guy here. Lucario's got Aura Strike, which does 30, but if you evolved it from Yolo this turn, you do 120. Well, with a Choice Band, hit for 150. With a Dianthe Prism Star, you hit for 170, which is good numbers. Um, and so you want to be hitting on stuff like Tapu Lele's. So you hit pretty good numbers with Aura Strike. Unfortunately, um, of course, Strong Energy is no longer in the format. It's one of the things Lucario does miss is Strong Energy because it did allow you to hit the perfect numbers you needed. Um, but Aura Strike is good with loops, with Ace Rolla, but also it's a good way to one-shot a Zoar GX, right? You know, one energy, one shot to the Zoar. Seems pretty promising. You even have a very good GX attack here with King Terra just beat down, just 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So it's like, you can do an insane amount of damage. If they hit you for just like 80 damage, you just one-shot them with that GX attack. So Lucario is a very intimidating card if your opponent doesn't one-shot it. Because it just aura strikes them, you possibly one-shot them. They attack you, you get GX attack. So it's very good. Though Lucario did, of course, lose strong energy, which I think really does hurt it quite a bit. But we do have cards like Kikui in the format. To help us out a little bit more. And again, the backup partner I've gone with is Garboder for Trash Land. Again, it's good in the late game. It's a psychic attacker. Uh, we do have Macargo, obviously, for Smooth Over. It's the go to engine right now, so we're going to be playing that engine. Uh, we do have other attackers in the deck, though. We do have a Bayonet in here. Um, I, you know, we play Psychic Energy, Rainbow Energy. Bayonet with Shady Move helps you with numbers um, on Lucario's Aura Strike, maybe to do 180. You also have Shadow Chan. It's also just resistant to fighting, so like. If you're up against like Buzzle or something, Bayonet can be pretty effective. Sometimes Buzzle can't one-shot your 190 HP Bayonet with a Fighting Resistance. Um, Tomb Hunt could be good too if technically you've never used that GX attack, which I don't think will ever happen, but it, your opponent can play around it. If there are one-shot in you, Tomb Hunt seems better. Uh, we are playing, of course, the Buzzle Sledgehammer. It's just so good right now. It's You, know, you kind of have to play it in any fighting deck. Of course, we got Diancy for the extra damage. We got one Orangu for draw support, but also for our Macargo. And just like four Riolus, two Trubbishes. The only other, like backup Pokemon I can really think of, there's really not much. There really isn't that many backup attackers. We are playing Rainbow Energy in this deck, so if you want to play like a Rainbow Energy attacker, be my guest. Obviously, you know, a lot of people, you know, like to play Promo Lele right now. Or I keep calling this Promo Lele, it technically is, but it's not. The Fairy Lele, of course, can be good in here. Rainbow Energy, Choice Band, One Shots, or Equaza with three energies. So it is good to play that Lele if you really want to. Um, so going into the items now, of course we got two Acrobike, mainly just here for the Macargo Smooth Over Engine. We got two Great Balls, three Nest Balls, and four copies of Ultra Ball. The go-to balls right now, Great Ball has seen a lot more play recently. It, it's a great card, it turns out it's good, it's, it's good. It's working really well in decks, you know, and uh, this card is seen play, and it's very reliable right now. Great Ball's never been good in the past, but all of a sudden it's actually starting to be decent in this format. We are playing one pal pad to be able to get our supporters back, just because it's good to get back your ace rollers. Even Kikui is kind of important. Um, we got one stretcher for our Pokemon, four Ultra Balls. The only other like things we don't have, obviously, that stand out to you is probably, you know, there's no field blower in this deck. 
Um, there is no stadium. There's no Brooklyn Hill. There's no, you know, nothing. There's no shrine. So those are the only other things you probably do want to add to this deck is like a stadium and a field blower or just a field blower. It's up to you though. Um, going to supporters, two Ace Rollers for Lucario, four Cynthia's for Draw, four Lilies for your Draw, and obviously for a Cargo, three Guzmas, two Kikui's. Kikui, very important. I almost think three is just straight up better because Kikui with Lucario and all the boosters does hit good numbers. Just saying. Um, we got three Choice Bands, of course, four Rainbow Energies, four Basic Fighting. We are playing just one copy of Psychic Energy also, and that's basically about it for the Pokemon and Energy and everything else. And again, any changes you make this list, consider a third Kikui, a, a Field Blower, maybe a Stadium. Like, Brooklyn Hill is something you could include in here. Um, you know, Shrine of Punishments wouldn't be bad either. It combos well with Lucario and Acerola. It also does let you hit those good numbers. So there are some options for tech cards in here if you really want to. But other than that, that is this Lucario Garboder deck that I built here on PDCGO. Try it out here, see some games, and see what this deck can do, and see if it's any good or not. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go do some games with our deck. Really, we are a little scared of Malamar, but outside of that, we'll see what we can do and what we can end up playing against. And uh, here we go. Find a match with our deck. Here we go. Come on, any day now. Any day now. That'd be great. Why are you taking so long? Come on. There we go. Finally. I hate sitting there awkwardly with really nothing to say. It's really just, you know. Um, we might be up against Metagross, which I really kind of hope we're not. Alright, so we are going to win the coin flip, which is good. And let's see what we end up starting with here. Ooh, Slugma. That's not good. Slugma, I mean... Magma Ring with like a Choice Band and a Kakui could do 100 to a Metagross. That would be very memeable. But other than that, it's not a very good card to start with. Okay, uh, we'll play the Acro Bike just to see if we can get like a Nest Ball or like another basic here. Let's go, we got Riolu. Little unfortunate, we do have to lose Garboder, but we got we got a Stretcher. Uh, we'll just play this, and we'll Lily for five. Okay. I was kind of hoping we would find a Guzma there, but it's whatever. I was really hoping we'd get Guzma there, because I do want a Guzma knockout a Beldum, if you consider it, he's either going to be playing Solgaleo or Metagross. We'll find out. Order bad? Okay, so hopefully he gets Tails. No, he gets Heads. Oh, why wouldn't he? So it looks like he's playing Solgaleo because Metagross does not play Order Pad. So that's going to be interesting. This kind of makes his hand a bit worse because, like, I really want a Guzma. I really want a Guzma here. Like, we not got a Cosmog early on. You know, we'll be good. But we're not going to be able to do that because we don't have a Guzma. You can smooth over, but there's like a 200% chance it's going to get a turn to Sogaleo. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Alright, here we go. What does he start with? He grabs an S-Ball and he concedes. Okay. Sure. Free win. I will take it. Alright, don't know why you conceded, not gonna lie, but whatever. I will take the free win. I shall take it. Alright, let's see here now what we play against. And hopefully, hopefully we're good. I want to play against Zoark too. You know, obviously you want to play against Zoark when you're playing this deck. Alright. A Water Psychic Metal deck. Hmm, I don't know. This, these are interesting types to see. Alright, so we are going to win the coin flip. That's nice. Let's see what we start with. Hopefully no Slugma start. You did it to me again. I think we'll start with a Ranguru this time, though. And, uh, that's fine. Uh, no Lily turn one, so hopefully we draw it. It looks like he's mulliganing, so that helps us. Hopefully we get a peek into what he's playing. Ooh, he's playing Lapras Quagsire. Okay, that matchup is a little interesting. Uh, we did try an extra two cards. That's good. No, he's not. He's playing Metagross. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I was hoping he wasn't playing Metagross, but of course he is. Alright, um... Double Great Ball for the win. Let's grab Bayonet. I don't want to reveal Garboder. I want to play items. He sees Garboder, he's like, oh, when, why do we have to get a Double Garboder? 
Why, oh why, oh why. So, well, Rainbow Energy, the Riolu. We'll have to play Kakui here to hopefully draw, like, a Guzma or switch. We drew Lily. That works, too. We don't have a way to, like, switch out of the active, though. Which is the issue. So, we're going to be kind of stuck here for one turn, which I don't like. But we'll see what we end up doing in this matchup. Metagross might be tough because of, like, max potion spam. That's going to be a big pain to deal with. But we'll see. So he's gonna nest ball for Vulpix. Okay. He's gonna play Lily for four. Okay. Attaches a metal. Does he get any more Beldums down? No. Nope. Doesn't look like he does. Okay. So hopefully we can draw into Guzma so we can knock out that Beldum. That would be nice. I mean, Lucario can't really get one shot by Metagross here, which is like a good thing unless he's playing Sogaleo. He's gonna get double Beldum. So he's definitely got Rare Candy Metagross in hand. That hand is way too big not to have it. Alright, Rip, we did not draw Guzma. That's fine. We'll just smooth over for the Guzma then. I mean, this deck should probably play like a Switch or something or like an Escape Rope, but we don't really have it, obviously, as you can see. We did draw Rainbow Energy. I mean, to be fair, you know, Magma Ring with a Choice Band and Kikui actually does 100 damage to Metagross, so there's, like, something we can consider. But it's not really smart. Um, well, Ultra Ball, I think. I think I am going to get rid of one of my Lucarios. And we'll grab Trubbish. I'm going to just draw some extra cards here. I think, yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to draw one card with a Rain Guru. Just to help us out a little bit. Another Riolu. Don't really need that. We'll just pass. Next turn, we'll be able to knock out one of his Beldums. Play nice. We'll play nice and aggressive early on. We do have a way to one-shot Metagross, still, thanks to our GX attack. So, that's good. I don't think he's playing Kikui and Choice Band. Like, I don't think that combo will ever happen. So, we should be good to just take a big GX knockout. He's just going to play Beacon, so he does not have what he's really looking for. Now, the question here is, what do I knock out? Which Beldum do I target? Okay, we drew Buzzwool. Might as well play him. Actually, I don't know, because I might need Diancy to do the uh, 140, because we kind of need to do... 120 is not enough to two-shot a Metagross, so I think I might actually hold off on that. Okay, so... I don't really know what Beldum to knock out, to be honest with you. Ew. Is this, like, for basics? No. So I would give Metagross a two retreat cost. So maybe I just knock out the Beldum without the... The skateboard on it because i guess he can't put choice band on it no i think we knock out the escape board Beldum. yeah i think that's fine i think it's fine to do that okay so we'll smooth over for probably probably lily for or i might grab another guzma mm, actually I, no how many ms has he played just one okay um Kind of wish I did keep that Lucario around, but whatever. I do want to get another Guzma, though, but I think we'll grab Lily instead, just so we can, like, have something to draw into next turn. We'll see if he attacks me, too. He might not even attack me. So, we might be safe to, like, not even take damage, so we can just do whatever. So, see what we draw. Do an Acro Bike, not bad. I might just, like, Kikui, like, Diancy knock out Vulpix here. That will be pretty good. Take the prize while I still can. Would be nice to take a Guzma KO. I could do it. No, I couldn't. Yeah, there's no way. Unless I did smooth over for a Guzma and, like, Acrobite gives me energy and I draw, like, a Stretcher or the energy or Lucario, I could take a Guzma knockout, which I would like to do. It's so whatever. Ooh, he's going to play Lele down. But I think we're in a good spot. We can kind of tank for now. He's played another item, so that's good. Let's see what he does. He's going to... Underground Expedition. So look at the bottom four cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. Put the other cards back on the bottom of your deck in any order. Interesting. Okay. Is he going to get Rare Candy Metagross with this? I highly doubt it. It's only the bottom four cards of his deck. I mean, this could combo pretty well with Resource Management. Oh, he actually did get the combo. Okay, so that's fine. But that is another item, so I think Garbodor is doing a bit more damage now. I think we'll get to a point where Garboder will two-shot Metagross. You gotta remember, if he does attack me, he does risk getting Contagious Beatdown KO'd. Because Metagross will not one-shot Lucario 
I highly doubt he has a way to do that. So he's just going to beacon here. Still played four items. Garboder can hit for 60, but I'm sure it'll rack up in a few more turns. And he is playing the Sokaleo. Oh, shoot. That's really bad. Okay, so there's Garboder. It's a good draw. Hmm. Okay, we'll do Smooth Over for... Don't have any Kikuis? Wait, what? Oh, so our other Kikui is prized. Okay. Never mind, rip. So we actually can't kill this Vulpix this turn. That's actually kind of sad. Um, okay. I know we're going to take the knockout next turn with Kinterja's beatdown, so... Hmm. I might still grab Guzma, because I still kind of feel like maybe target the Cosmog. I don't know. I really don't know what to grab. I think we'll grab Guzma though, just so we have Guzma for next turn, maybe, if we ever get a knockout. But I think I do want to knock out that thing next turn, that, that evil, evil Cosmog. Sobaleo is our biggest threat. So we can Garboder knock out that Cosmog. I kind of want to do that. Sobaleo is a huge threat to us. He's definitely going to damage me this turn. Well, maybe not. We actually, unless he doesn't play another skateboard, we might not get damaged. So I might be able to just take the KO with Garbodor. We'll see. We shall see. He might also, like... Ooh, no, he's going to do Guzma now. On my cargo. Okay. He's going to wipe out... I think I'm either Slugma, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to knock out my Macargo now. That's fine. I think I still go for that knock knockout with Garboder. And then we actually will get Sledgehammer. No, he's going to Algorithm me, which works out perfectly fine because we can still KO that Cosmog. And he actually has played a Stretcher. Don't know how many Stretchers he's playing, but does not matter. We are going to take him out. Still only four items, but Cosmog is weak to Psychic and he only has 6 HP. So we're going to knock out that Cosmog, try and remove any Solgaleo threats that hit the board. And that's actually really good. Okay, so we'll... Yeah, Guzma Cosmog. So, okay. What else do I want to get here? I might just set up another Lucario. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so... We'll grab... I don't want to grab Diancy right now, because I don't want to risk, like, getting KO'd early on. He's obviously going to knock me out the Metagross. And I kind of want to retaliate with a Lucario. So I'm just going to get an energy. Um, so we're going to get KO'd. I think it's safe to put down another Riolu. Knock out Cosmog here. And I'm going to try and see if I can hit like a Lucario play for next turn. There's our other Macargo, so now we're going to get off the prizes. So if he knocks me out, he might do another Guzma play because he did grab any five cards he wants. But I could also just attack him with Lucario, which I might try and do. But we are going to shut down that Sogaleo. He might have expected the Guzma though. We'll see. But there's another item, so Garboder's doing more damage. There's another item. So he has now played a lot of items. Grab another Cosmog, though. He wants that Sogaleo to come down. That is not fun. That is really not fun. We just... Maybe I should just grab another Guzma. But I can't knock out that Cosmog next turn. We'll see if he even knocks out my... Maybe he might... I don't know. Is he gonna Guzma? I don't think he is. Though I am, like... Terrified of Sogaleo. We are in a lot of trouble next turn. Because that stupid Sogaleo. Okay, so he's going to Giga Hammer me. We are in a lot of trouble here.
Well, Cynthia... I don't even think it matters what I got. We are... Uh, we're screwed because... Sogaleo. We're, like, Sogaleo is just gonna, like, absolutely destroy me. He's gonna... We're gonna hit him. And he's gonna max potion. Heal all the damage we do. And then he's gonna knock me out with Sunsteel Strike. Like... I'm screwed. Like, I'm absolutely screwed. This guy's gonna, like, have an insane turn. But, oh, man. Like, we're, we're literally screwed. I guess I should have shuffled Stretchered and then McCargoed for my other Lucario. I don't know. Let's grab Trubbish. We'll bike for it. Oh, we lost a fight energy. That's a little bad. <sighs> we'll Palpad. Shuffle Guzma. We'll shuffle Lily back. Don't think we'll need Professor Kikui. He's played six. Assuming he's gonna max potion candy, that's an extra two. So that is 140, 170, 190, a cap with the QE choice band. I guess we'll get the Kikui back. We might need that extra damage down the road, we'll see. This is not good. We're gonna hit him for 120, but we know he's gonna heal this thing next turn, so I don't know. Not look. Yep, there it is. There it is. We are screwed. We're screwed. There's like, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. I told you. I told you he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna do the max potion too. Son of a like. Son of a Pokemon. I mean, at this point, I don't really see how we're winning, guys. I genuinely don't. We're, we're screwed. We're, we're like... We're, we're... We're, like, gonna lose so hard. There's literally nothing we can do. He's gonna haul it for seven, so he's gonna get another max potion. So even if we, like, two-shot Sogaleo, he's still going to just 100% get another max potion off. There's... Nothing we can do. We are, like, doomed. I should have done the shuffle play last turn. and got the Garboder and the Trubbish back. <sighs> like, we're screwed. We did get a Guzma back, so, like... Theoretically, if we deal, if we somehow deal with Sogaleo, we could win the game. Maybe. I don't even know what's best to go into here. Riolu or Trubbish. I think Riolu, because if we don't hit Lucario, we could still detect and maybe buy us a turn. Maybe. Wow. Nah, I'm just going to concede. Well, I could have ran Guru and Instruct, I guess. I guess then I should stick it out. We'll see if we get the knockout. We will. We'll see. Oh, we don't even have Lu- Oh, yeah, that's that's a concede. That is- that That's that's a concede for me, boys. Wow, I don't know what to say, guys. I really don't. I don't know what to say. I think if he didn't play Sogaleo, we would have had a- Alright guys, here we go. Let's go do another game with our deck. I feel like if he didn't have Sogaleo, he could have won that game, but unfortunately he did have it. But uh, the potential to win could have been there had he not had Sogaleo. Alright, ooh. This might be a Zoark deck, so that's good. Zoark is what we want to be playing against because obviously it's Zoark, so we'll see what we do on the coin flip. Alright, we do win it, which is pretty nice. Okay, so let's see what we draw start with. Alright, we got the Riolu start, which is really good. 
that's what we want to be starting with. And we, we got to be a little careful though with with how many Pokemon we play down. We do want to avoid Dangerous Rogue, so we got to be a little careful. But Zorak is what we want to be playing against. He's not playing Zorak. Never mind. Rip the Dream. Rip the Dream. Okay, I think we have to put Diancy down just because. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. Whatever. Okay, so he's not playing Zoark, which is a good sign. I don't want to play that many items here because Garboder does counter me, but we should be okay, I think. Should be okay. Another item we gotta play. I mean, of course, it gave me nothing I need. Alright, well, that's fine. But I'm not too worried about this matchup. We have Garboder, we have Bane, which are really good here. We'll have to see what we do. Just hoping, though... I shouldn't have, I probably should have just grabbed a Slugma, but I didn't want to put Diancy down because, like, we kind of need Diancy for Gar our Buzzwool. Because Diancy does counter Buzzwool. It allows our uh, Lucario to come in and knock him out. So he's going to Lily. It's going two items, so we should be okay. He's going to Ultra Ball. Getting rid of Guzma and Ultra Ball. That's good. Two items down the drain. You just need to play three, and then Garboder is Trash Lantern for the win. Well, three to four, but three is when we need knock out Garboder, and then four is when we need to deal with Buzzwool. But we can deal with Buzzwool fairly easily anyway, it's not a big deal. There's the energy top deck, that's lit. And we'll Cynthia, hopefully get, like, something good. I could have stuck the hand, too, to be honest. Oh, I probably should have done that. That's a pretty bad hand. We didn't really get anything good. Alright, well, I guess we'll just Aura Strike, knock him out. I guess we can get Terra's beat down him. I don't think he's playing any GXs, so it's like, we'll be okay with that. We got Cynthia, that's perfect. I needed, like, another draw supporter turn so let's see he's gonna bring out buzzwell after all okay that's fine and just a sledgehammer for 30 all right can we draw ace roller here no we do draw guzma though hmm i could like attach another energy retreat next turn kakui ko this buzzwell or something stupid i think we actually just guzma knock out this trubbish Garboder is, like, it's not a big deal for this deck because we do have counters to it in the form of Bayonet and Garboder. But I think it is still pretty good to deal with these Trubbishes before they come from. We do give him a Sledgehammer, but we can win with a Katerta's beat down, so it's not going to matter. Alright, there's a Shrine. It's going to stretch her back, the Trubbishes, it looks like. No, just put one back. Okay, so we know he has Sledgehammer, but that's fine. We can knock him out with our GX attack. And Lucario put in enough work, so it's not a big deal. There's the first Slugma. Perfect. All right. Um, I think we have to play this, but I, so I don't want to draw into it. But I don't want to put it on my active. I think I'm going to play it on the rank Guru. I don't want to draw that. I really don't. There's the energy. And there's Shuppet. Um, yeah, I think we can play Rainbow Energy. No, how many M's have we played? Just two, 80. Okay, yeah, we already, yeah, we'll be, we'll get knocked out by Garbodor anyway, so we might as well just play this. And we'll just knock him out of their GX deck. Next turn, we'll have, hopefully, Bayonet to knock him out, assuming we hit Macargo. There it is, there we go, boom. So we'll knock him out with Bayonet. Yeah, we've played a bunch of supporters. So we're going to just clean through this Garbodor here with our Bayonet. We've taken a big lead in prizes. Three prizes before he might not even get a knockout. Like, he might not even kill me this turn. And then if he doesn't do that, I'll just Macargo for Ace Rolla. Or I might still retreat. I don't know. I don't know. This thing can get picked away later by Shrine. Oh, he concedes. Never mind. He concedes the match. All right. Well, that was a bit of a short match. Um, oh, shoot. Someone is calling me. I really don't want to answer that right now. All right. So let's just... Go on to another game real quick, and then I'll just, like, add the stream game that I got after. The stream game was pretty interesting. I don't know. I like the deck, but I don't know, man. This deck, to me, I don't know if it's... I don't know. But what, my luck with this deck hasn't been great in terms of, like, matchups, I guess. That was the first win we got with this deck, actually. Well, when I was testing the deck, I was doing okay with it. But that was the first win of this video of recording. So there you go. Now right, let's see what we start with. We're gonna mulligan. Looking, looking like it's obviously a. Um, let's see. We got it. I'm gonna answer the phone. All right. So 
He's probably thinking this is going to be a Buzzwool Garb deck, which obviously all the types line up, so he's like, oh, this is Buzzwool Garb, oh boy. But joke's on you, I am playing Lucario Garboder. Speak of the devil. Alright, so we did start with our Riolu. We do have a decent hand. I can probably Ultra Ball for a Slugma. So we have Macargo Lily for a big, big hand. We'll see what my opponent is running. I did see some... I thought like a couple types in the deck. Oh, Gyarados. Wait, what? Okay. This is going to be a matchup that I am not going to be prepared for, but I'm going to try to be. Okay. We'll get rid of Cynthia... I guess Cynthia and Bayonet. I wanted to keep Bayonet, because I do want to use Shuppet at some point, but whatever. Let's just get Slugma. It looks like he's playing a Gyarados deck. He's probably playing the new Dragon Majesty Gyarados, which... Um, I think it does like 130 or 160 for three energies. I can't really remember what else it does. So, let's just put Dynasty down, and we'll just pass. I don't need to do anything else with this hand, I think. I don't want to play the Rainbow Energy down. Though I probably should have, but I, I don't want to attach. I don't want to lose Riolu that early on. I doubt he's playing Garboder, so I'm just going to Yolo in the items. But it looks like we're up against a Gyarados deck. Now, the Dragon Majesty Gyarados... Well, he could actually be playing the other Gyarados, too, from Burning Shadows. I think he is. I don't know. Yeah, I think he is. Counter Energies. What? Mm, we'll see. We'll see if he's playing the Dragon Majesty Gyarados or if he's playing the Burning Shadows Gyarados. Let's see. So he's going to pass. That's fine. I guess he'll have Mimikyu. But he'll only copy Aura Strike, so he's not doing that much damage to me. Hmm. I might actually... I might just knock this thing out now. Because this thing is a little annoying. Yeah, I think we'll knock it out now. He has fighting resistance. No, he doesn't. Why do I keep... I keep thinking that those things have fighting resistance. Those things are just so evil. Yeah, I think we'll knock him out. Deal with him now, I think. It's fine. Macargo. Probably for just something like Ace Rolla. And yeah, that seems fine. I do want to get Pelpad soon, though. We played... Like, we got rid of a couple supporters there. So yeah, we'll knock out Mimikyu. Just get it out of the board. I mean, okay, here's the thing. He copy Aura Strike, then he hit me for 120. Won't knock me out, but it's still... I'd rather... I'd rather just not do it. I don't think we're gonna get knocked out by Gyarados this turn. We might. If he is playing the Dragon Magic one, that's also why I didn't want to knock out Magikarp either. If he's playing the Burning Shadows Gyarados, he could technically have knocked me out this turn. Ooh, he's playing Tauros. What? <laughs> well, he's obviously not gonna put that in play. And he is playing the Venting Anger Gyarados. So, how many items has he played? One, two, three, four, five. Five items. Six items. Seven items. Is he playing Lele? I highly doubt it, but that's fine. No, Ranguru. So, he's played seven items. So, we're going for Trash Lanch, boys. We are going for Trash Lanch. Now, he's only got rid of one Magikarp. He's only going to hit me for 50 this turn. So, we should survive a hit from Gyarados here. Yeah. Interesting deck idea, though. Interesting idea. Now, unfortunately, this Gyarados will survive the turn. I mean, I guess I could just Kantera just beat down him. I might actually, I should probably actually do that. Yeah, I should probably just knock him out with our GX attack. Because we're not going to knock him out, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it's better just KO him with our GX here. There's Palpad, that's pretty big. Definitely need to get back some guys. We'll get back Guzma and Lily. Good logic, didn't get back to the full art, but YOLO. I think we hold the hand, just knock him out. We should survive next turn. I don't think he'll be able to switch out a Ranguru unless he Guzmas me. Dang it, I was hoping that was going to be like a energy or something. But we can ace roll the next turn and we should be good to win the game. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we won't get KO'd here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident Lucario is safe. Pretty confident Lucario is safe. Yeah, he's gonna concede it. Well, there you go. This deck is just, it's too good for some people, man. It's too good. It's too good. I don't know. I'm really interested in this list, though. Ooh, two Gyarados. Three Carps over four? Okay. Interesting. But that's a... Oh, no, he's playing four Carps after all. Never mind, rip. That's a really cool deck idea, though, using Gyarados with, like, counter-energy guys. That actually sounds like a pretty fun idea. 
Um, so shout out to my opponent for that deck, I guess. That was pretty cool. I think I'm gonna wrap the video there. I, I guess I gotta answer the phone here because some of my friend did call me. Three, three missed calls. So I should probably answer the phone, but I'm gonna wrap the video there. I'm gonna leave you guys with the stream game. I don't know about this deck. I don't know. I, I was, the deck's fun to play, but I don't know, man. I wasn't, I wasn't getting that many good games with this deck where like the deck was like winning. I feel like this deck doesn't work right now. I don't know. Maybe in the future, this deck has potential. Maybe when like Zorora becomes big, this deck gets a lot better. That's another Pokemon that you can one shot with Aura Strike. So this deck might get better next set as opposed to right now. So I don't know, but it was a fun deck to play anyways. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the road to 4K subs. We're getting we're getting there, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to the road to 4K. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. And I'll see you guys on the PDC Geo video. Peace out. Because um he just mimicues me. Trash Lanch, Mimikyu, knocks me out. So we're just gonna move on, I think, from that game. So it looks like we're against a Metagross deck, okay. Can't wait for the new shiny legendary Pokemon GX cards. Those things look sick. Those things look sick. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how many we're gonna be getting though. I saw someone on Twitter, my good friend, uh, AD, ADVYGM. He didn't note that uh, Charizard, there's a big difference between Charizard and like Rayquaza, I think. Something like that. So there's gonna be a lot of shinies apparently. I don't know. Ooh, this is a really good hand. I don't know. I hope we, um,. I mean, I doubt they're going to give us, like, every single GX in the shiny form. But we're probably going to get, like, the most playable ones, the shinies, other than Charizard. Because Charizard never really seen play. Ooh, looks like we're against Metagross. Metagross could be tough. Just really down to, can we hit the perfect numbers? Lucario not having strong energy is a big detriment. The Gar the Trubbish start isn't very good. Okay, no, he's playing Dustmane. That is fine. Yeah, Charizard. Yeah, that Charizard. In real life, that is going to go for a lot of money, probably. Especially if we're actually going to be getting that many shinies, considering, you know, it, I mean, the card did say at the bottom there is going to be way more, apparently. Because there's a big difference between the two. Okay, so he just grabs a Magnemite. Okay. And he says a Broken Heart Face, which is a good sign. So let's see what we did prize. We got Buzzwool, we got both our Boaters, all Lucario's, we got Bayonet. Okay, everything seems intact. This matchup could be tough, though, because we can't really make use of Lucario too much outside of hitting hard for one energy just because of Dustmane. Okay, we prized Diancie. Good to know. Uh, I don't know what to get here. I think I'll just get a, another Riolu. He's only played one item, so Trash Lanch does zero damage. I thought I heard we're getting them all. Ooh, Crawford. I don't know. That would be really interesting, though, if we did. That's a lot of GXs, though, to give us. I don't know. Seems unlikely, but eh, who knows. I think, actually, next turn, we can actually just take a knockout on that Magnemite. That's, so that'd be nice. What's up with the Zoark Sogaleo GX deck? It's the new one. I'd like to see it work. By the way, my icon is the new shiny. Yeah, I noticed that, trainer. Uh, Pokemon trainer, Devin. But, uh, I don't know. The Sogaleo Zoark deck was okay. I tested it. My build of the deck, I didn't really like that much. I don't know. It was okay. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to take a knockout here on this Magnemite. It seems like I need to... But at the same time, we're getting hit really hard by Dustmane. Oh, he concedes. Never mind. I was going to say, because even if we did take the knockout, he just stuns Eclipse. That's like two games in a row where we had to worry about a GX attack after, you know, winning the prize trade. That's actually kind of bad. But uh, we'll move on and find another game. Okay. Ooh. This might actually be a Greninja deck. The type's kind of... No, it's, it might be Lapras. I don't know. Lapras Quagsire doesn't really play like Coke or anything, though. I do have a uh, Quagsire Curum deck, which seems good. You think Mimikyu has any potential? Yeah, we we nice name by the way. Um, uh, what do we start with? Slugma or Dionysus? It doesn't really matter. I think s judging from his hand, I think we actually have to start with Dionysus. Oh uh, yeah, actually, if he's playing a Water deck, why would we start with Slugma? I think Mimikyu is fine. I think it's a good attacker. That uh, it definitely works well in spread, and spread is pretty popular. So I can see it work with counter gain. I think it's okay. He might be. Oh, this might actually be a Swampert and Polion deck. No, he's playing Glaceon. Okay, that's fine. I think Mimikyu is. I think it's good. I think it'll see play in spread decks for sure. It's just it's a good attacker. It's, you know, it's obviously like a Wobbuffet esque reprint. So yeah, I think it works. I think it works. I, don't, I honestly don't really know if there's any like. I mean, Tyranitar arguably is pretty terrible, but there's not like any like standout bad GXs in the in that set to be honest with you. 
Like, I, I kind of want to test out Tyranitar with Larvitar and Shining Celebi. Because the Larvitar in that in the new set is actually really powerful. So if you play with, like, Coco and Shrine, you can make, like, really good combos work. And you knock him out with Tyranitar, I guess you don't get the fighting knockout. But you knock him out with Tyranitar, you shove him in the Lost Zone. Start down to, yeah. Well, Josh, if he's playing, he's playing Glaceon. I can't really afford to start with Slugma. Also, this hand is pretty bad, so I kind of need... I think I'm going to need my cargo. If I ever draw it, I can at least guarantee that I have that draw. That honestly doesn't seem that good either in this matchup, so I don't know. So when I pre-release pulled a Rainbow Mimikyu, and I haven't seen one. Oh wow, no Alola Ninetales yet. I mean, there's a lot of GXs. Ooh, he's going to Marshadow me. That kind of changes everything. Well, I'd still probably start with Dionysi. Oh, nice. We got that turn one Lily Hype. Okay, he's going to retreat. That's fine. Ooh, Ultra Ball. That's a really good draw. This actually makes me not want to even do Great Ball. I actually think it's better to play the Ultra Ball. How many items has he played? No, whatever. Well, I'll, I'll still grab the Riolu. I think Lucario is good in this matchup because we can Ace Roller him because he's not going to ever one-shot me. Unless we don't hit the Ace Roller and he knocked him out Polar Spear. But then we can tear his beat down him. So there's a lot of options. Kinteridus also could knock him out. Who's excited for the new Eevee cards? Yo, those Eevees. Wow, Eevee's really good. Eevee's going to be really good. Okay, bit of an awkward hand, not going to lie. I think I hold it, because I do guarantee the Macargo next turn, and then I can, like, maybe Guzma. Um, I could potentially KO Lele next turn, depending on what I draw. I think I just hold the hand. Because we might have a knock it on Lele. But yeah, though, the new Eevee GXs are pretty good. And also, Jolteon is pretty decent. I like Jolteon. I see potential Vaporeon and Flareon, too. I was at a player release and someone pulled a full art Ninetales. That Ninetales is obviously the best card you can pull. Oh, and I'm actually surprised he Riolu because we do have Contagious Beatdown, which Choice Ban and Dionysi would let us knock him out with a 30 damage on us. So I'm surprised he did that. Um, okay. How many items has he played? Not that many. Okay, so Polar Spear will not knock me out. Yeah. Polar Spear will... No, Kintaris Beatdown will knock him out. What am I saying? I thought I thought Kintaris Beatdown was like Polar Spear. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so how do I play this? I think we gotta use... We'll have to get rid of both the Lucario and the Garbodor, I think. We'll have to grab Macargo. Thankfully, it doesn't get shut down. We don't have Bayonet's ability, I guess. We're gonna have to do Acrobike here with Macargo. Or maybe not. Okay, so we're definitely gonna... Uh, we do have the knock on Lele. Yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll grab Choice Band. Might as well take the KO on that Lele. I don't really see anything wrong with that. Flare and GX with Fiery Flint is gonna be fun. Yeah. For sure. I can definitely see how that would be good. Uh, another Garboder discard. That's not very good. We're gonna need to get, hopefully, our boy... Um, why can't I remember the name? Hopefully we get... Beautiful Rescue Stretcher. We're going to really need that because we actually also got rid of that Lucario. But we're in a pretty good spot. We can probably knock him out next turn with the Kakui. So that's good. We'll see what our prize are. Another energy. We got, okay, Nest Ball energy. That's pretty powerful. We can even get a Ranguru. I think we'll probably just get Trubbish. Hey, man, how's it going? Yo, Brian, welcome stream. And I'll thank you, by the way, also for lending me that Sogaleo, by the way. Thanks. I really appreciate it. But yeah, welcome stream. Four EV from Sun and Moon. Four GX, one Ditto Prism, Rainbow Energy, and Units. You can play every EV. Yeah, that is true. Ditto Prism is really good. Did you end up getting any of those Sogaleo GX? Uh, no, I still only have the one right now. Ooh, he's going to take out my cargo. That's fine. We'll see if he also... Well, he'll, oh, he's going to take two prizes, so I guess I can Sledgehammer him. Um, but yeah, I actually, unfortunately, don't have the other Sogaleo. I kind of want to get another one, because I think it'll be fine with Alola Ninetales. I'm not really in any rush to get one right now, Brian. But it's all good. But yeah, once again, thank you for lending me that. So he takes the two prizes. That's fine. We'll uh, just sledgehammer him here. We do kind of lose a bit of our support there. Diancy and Macargo are pretty big losses. Ooh, Lucario draw. We get sledgehammer, though, which is nice. I think... Do we have our stretcher? Yeah, we do. Okay. How many spores have I discarded? Two. Never mind. I can't really go for Bayonet. I think I will get Trubbish, though. Trubbish is still fine. We'll play the Kaku before the Rainbow, just in case. Yeah, there we go. So I don't have to waste the Rainbow Energy. 
Yeah, that's fine. I kind of do want the extra damage on Lucario anyways. It's probably better that way. We should be in a pretty powerful spot here. You might be able to take another prize, though. I will send you one in a minute. You can keep... Oh, really? Oh, thanks, Brian. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, dude. I, you saw my friends list, too, I think, right? Camera drummer. But yeah, thanks. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Okay, does he have a Guzma here? He's played one. We did force get rid of his Lele. The new Onyx, though. The new Onyx is also really good with uh, Malamar. There's a lot of good fighting types now coming out in this new set. We got Onyx. The new Larvitar can be good. I think You think that Miltank will be any fun? Or is Judge and Marsha out too prevalent? Eh, Miltank's okay. You are talking about like the milk tank with like Moo Moo Milk, right? Like the Moo Moo Milk combo or the Whitney Milk Tank. The one, I, I know like it's the attack that does extra damage for the things in your discard pile. I think that's what it does. Not a problem. Yes, Tamer Drummer. All right, yeah. Thanks again, Ryan. Yep, he had the Guzma. I'm actually surprised he's taking out a Trubbish though. Okay, we might have to waste Canteratus on him. As long as he doesn't... Never mind, I was going to say as long as he doesn't evolve Eevee, we might be safe to not have to do it, but it looks like he does find it. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Uh, he has played a lot of items, though, so Stretcher is really relevant. Maybe I should have grabbed a Rank Guru there. Oh, he's flying flipping me. I see. That's fine. Kind of figured we wouldn't really draw out of that. Oh, that's tough. Do I just stomp off here? There's no point. <laughs> it's actually a dumb idea. Uh, this is a pretty bad hand. Hmm. I think he's gonna he's trying to set up a another double prize KO with Glacian, I think. On like one of my Riolus or both Trubbishes. This is kinda bad. I think I just have to hope I draw out of this. No, I think I think we try and go for the retreat play. I think we kinda have to. Okay, we got rid of a water. That's fine, I guess. Might cripple him. I doubt it, though. Um, the milk tank does six damage times the amount of Moo Moo milk in your discard pile for triple colors. Yeah, yeah, Weeby Boy. Yeah, that could be fun with, like, Malamar. Um, yeah, that's an okay combo. It's just, can you get the Moo Moo milks in, in your discard? I mean, you do have a, a Gladian, right? Uh, what's good is you aren't relying on GX abilities and damage. Uh, damage wrecks havoc on him with Lucario. Yeah, exactly. But, uh... We're kind of in top deck mode. We do play a lot of supporters, though, because we kind of have the Bayonet in here. Oh, he's going to be able to take a lot of prizes. Oh, come on. Okay, well, I think we'll knock him out with Buzzwool. Oh, we got rid of the energy. I didn't even realize. What? How'd he get rid of that? Enhanced tank. What do you mean, brother? Oh, I did not. I was not paying attention. I was reading chat. Rip, that is... Wow. Okay, well, I think I just passed. and just hope I draw Guzma so we can knock him out with Glaceon. Wow, I did not. I should have attached the ener fight energy, but didn't want to. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, was, I, do, I wasn't even paying attention. That really sucks. Okay, well, the game is far from over, but it's kind of is. Yeah, this is pretty bad. That Guzma, just not drawing anything, is just killing me. I should have grabbed a Ranguru when I had the opportunity, because I didn't know I'd draw the other, other Trubbish. That was kind of stupid. But I was really hoping I would find Stretcher. We really need Trash Lanch here. Like, we could win this game still, but it's, like, so unlikely. We don't have Sledgehammer. Oh, man. I think we have to bring out Buzzwold just because, like, there's not much I can do. Okay. I unfortunately do have to evolve here just so I don't get Flying Flip, but we haven't played any Ace Roller. Okay, we got a Rainbow Energy. Still no stretcher. We have Shuppet, but I don't think Shuppet's saving us. Hmm. I think I just have to sledgehammer him. I don't really want to put any like other Pokemon on the bench that can get knocked out by like Polar Frost Bullet, because then he takes two prizes. I kind of want to prevent that. I guess it's kind of my I consensus idea. I mean, this is pretty bad. He probably has Guzma. Yep, rip. Maybe I should have attached Rainbow there, but I don't know. I'm, I'm st actually kind of low on energies. I've actually played quite a few, so... Yeah, I was hoping that was going to happen. I think that is a game, though. Yeah, we lose. That's pretty annoying. 
I hate losing to Dead 